Hey Trifuckers, this is my art piece I made. You guys can come along with me and see how I got started. It took me a while to actually post this video, but here it is. I hope you guys enjoy it and I hope you guys like it. And yeah, if you want to see how it's done, come on and watch this video. I'm going to try not to make it too long, but look, I'm talking already. All right, so you guys come with me and watch and see. I'm so corny. Anyway. comes right off I don't like it okay guys I am back I am not going to show my face in this video but this was this is what I decided to use for the model of this DIY project that I am creating um, I'm also going to make that into something as well but here is what I decided to use for the canvas here I'm going to see the video all I did was wet the strips and place it down now you guys are going to see me finish the back because this is a vase i am making a vase i had to cut the back open in order to get it off of the canvas but as you can see i have my bucket of water and i do have my plaster strips it comes like this in the plastic and of course, be prepared to clean up a bunch of mess of plaster. Um, and I open it like a bag of chips and all the plaster be falling off. But you can just make sure you have scissors and start stripping. So what I'm going to do is uh, dip it in the water, make a strip, dip it in the water, make a strip across. And then I'm going to show you guys painting the sh the um this canvas hopefully it comes out right so i have these materials to paint it with so let's stop the talking and get started no mason the cereal mason stop pick up the bowl and just pour it just pour it all in the drain i'll get the cereal no no in the drain hole get closer to the drain not in the sink Pour it in the hole. You should have went around the table anyway. Now turn the water on. Turn the water on. Because you got milk in my sink. No. I don't even know if this one go right. Because I wanted this to be under. but And I wanted to like bandage it back together. So you want to remember to keep an opening right here so the flower can go in. But I wanted to be lightweight, hang this on the wall. Hey Trifecta, so I'm just going to speed up the video just so you guys can get the gist of what I'm doing. Of course, I am dipping the plaster into the water and I am placing it on the back of this canvas. So as you can see, I needed something to make the can the strips a little um, stiff. So I had to tuck something within the canvas and that all worked out for me definitely. So um, basically, I'm going to just give you a little background on why I wanted to create this project. Um, basically, it's something that I did in college. So college, I made a canvas of my full body i ended up throwing those in the trash but it was really thick plaster and that's the plaster i want to use in the near future um, i just have to find it but basically um i'm going to paint this just like i did in college but i want to call this still i rise i remember i had a project and they said pick a poem that you really like and make art out of it 
And I made the worst project you can think of. It was out of shoebox and construction paper. I don't know what I was thinking. I don't know what made me possessed to make a project like that. But it was my senior year. I think I was stressed and I didn't know what to do. So I made anything. But anyway, I hope you guys enjoyed this um, canvas here today. Of course, I've grown and I've learned uh, projects and materials. So hope you guys enjoy this and keep on watching. And again, don't forget that subscribe button. And since you made it this far, comment below and tell me what you think. So now I started painting. I bought this transfer gel. It dries white. So it's like, stop. Shoot. So Chase, that's enough. So I don't have any paint brushes. So I'm just gonna massage it on there. There's nobody else uh, stop it. Um so I already started at the top, now I'm working my way down, and I'm just going to go across. Yeah. All right, so once again, I'm going to speed up this video. Again, I'm just um, putting a top coat of p white paint on top of the canvas. Um, it's a gloss paint. Um, the materials I'm using, I don't think I explained it, but I'm using paint, and I'm going to use, like, hot foil. You'll see how it looks once you finish watching the video. And if you made it this far, subscribe, and don't forget to hit that like button, and also don't forget to leave a comment below of course i had no idea what i was doing in the beginning because like i said i did this project when i was in college however my homegirl at the time was putting the plaster on my body to help me with my project i didn't do it by myself but look i was doing it by myself and i said this ain't working out this is not working out so anyway i decided to use this plastic canvas and look what i created and um again this will be a canvas vase to hang on your wall i think that's really cool something to have in your home and i am going to continue to decorate um and you guys are following along with me this is my first time doing this and you you guys are seeing that art come to life okay if i got my son on the line he would say smash that like button and comment below here we go let me get him on the line today smash that like button and subscribe for more i know that's right all right, so I don't know what I'm doing, y'all, clearly. Trial and error. But basically, I got my iron. It's hot. I thought, I just was looking up some videos on how to use this. So it got to be face down. And clearly, this is not what I thought. Maybe I can use parchment paper. Where enough. And I just said I need a new iron because this iron is it's not getting hot. Right? This is what I thought I could do, right? And then when I'll pick it up, there'll be like gold pieces on it like that. That's how I wanted it to look like it was it was inside. Ain't that kind of cute? I don't know. You can still use the same piece. But because this is such a, a curve, my iron is not going to fit, I don't think. And my iron don't get that high. So I thought I explained the materials that I used here. So basically, I am using hot foil. Hot foiling is a process that involves creating an impression on a surface using a thin sheet of hot foil. And basically what I'm doing is using a combination of the heat from the iron onto this foil sheet and I'm applying the pressure so it can create an impression on the surface of this canvas. Um, that was my idea in my head. I'm just hoping that it comes out. A little steamer. I don't know. Mm. And then I'll peel it back up. Oh no, I don't want my, my paint to come up. I have plenty of paint. 
Look at this one. Hey. Don't want to break it. I'm going to have to make the neck a little stronger. This need more attachments. But this was my bright idea. I'm going to finish, guys. Let's see what happens. Let's see how this thing works. So basically, I just cut this across. And you get surprised. I get a surprise. Huh? If I do it on it, what's going on? Because I'm throwing this iron in the trash anyway. It passed one thirty. It did? Yeah. Okay, give me a second. Let me, look, don't this look cool, kind of? Yeah, you can finish that up. Mason, give me a second. I had to wait until it dry everything. Okay. Definitely gonna keep these scraps because these can be used. Okay. I'm really feeling this. This would be nice if I left it like that, right? Decent, right? Mason, where is you? What is wrong with you? So that's real decent. Look at how that coming out. Okay, 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 okay. I want to call this the light rise. I don't know. It's like the gold just gives power. It gives like that. I don't know. Gold just gives power. Gold just gives like. Nothing can break me down. Like it's in, it's coming out of the texture of the figure, so it's not it's not fully golden, but I'm 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 royalty inside. Like regardless of how much pain you put me through, still I rise. I have something within me. <laughs> I don't know, but let me tell you about um, my project. So I remember when I did that project that I told you about the flower. In a shoebox, and then the, the flower bloomed out of the shoebox. So it was grass, and then there's the opening of the square shoebox, and then there was a flower that bloomed all the way through the box. And it was just, uh, I don't know what I was thinking. What in my right mind decided to be like, oh yeah, I'll do that. That is, that is something that I want to do for the Still Out Rise project. I don't know. But basically, um, Child. She that teacher said, "You think Maya Angelou would be happy and proud of this project?" I was so embarrassed, and I was just like, mm, "You're right. I don't know what to tell you." Like that was the worst. That was the worst feeling. Um, I mean, I was in college. My dad had passed away when I was 19, but at this time I'm 22 years old. But you know, I'm still thinking of like. Dang, what am I going to do in my life? Do I, did I really want to be an art major? Is this something like that I can really do on my own? Because, you know, after a while they were saying like, oh, they had they had people who was in the in industry of art. And it was like, it's more of an independent job. If you're a person that puts yourself out there, you have to sell yourself. And I, would, I never took a class to how to sell myself or how to sell my artwork and that was back in 2008 to 2013 but here i am today selling my art but i hope you guys enjoyed this video if you made it this far please like and subscribe and don't forget to comment to be something i'm gonna try to add more on the bottom and then that's it because i don't want to do too much this is so beautiful and then i'm gonna stick the flowers on the top 
the back looks like that so here is the final look i actually don't want my face in the camera but i'm trying to fix the flowers as you can see the neck part of this canvas is not as tight as i want it to be again i ran out of plaster but this is the final look of the of my artwork um i'm glad you guys made it this far in the video the metallic up against the white canvas is beautiful to me so hope you guys enjoyed the video and keep on watching for more to come and yeah just enjoyed the ending of me zooming in and out of my artwork <laughs> hope you guys enjoy it and see you guys next time we dirty dance and barely know the language your body sparking all communications the way you blush and i can tell we connected a foreign love affair is all i'm expecting Hold on. we dirty dance and barely know the language